let's learn about editing lettering through object properties. After you've generated your lettering, you can edit the size of the lettering by opening up object properties. And if you have closed object properties, simply double click on the lettering to open the dialog box. You can select the height either in inches or in millimeters and just add that value and press apply and the lettering will increase or decrease in size. It is recommended that you always consult the minimum and maximum values given in the appendices of the reference manual for best results. Minimums and maximums are listed for embroidery fonts only. And you go to the help menu and the reference manual. Go to the appendices and open it and go to your embroidery fonts page. And here, as you scroll through, you will see minimums and maximums listed for each embroidery font. And as you scroll through the pages, you will find minimums and maximums for all the embroidered fonts. If you have your software set for the metric system and want to change the size in inches, or vice versa, remember you can simply add IN or the inch symbol after entering the value. If you're in inches and want to set a millimeter value, you can swipe across the height and then enter the value followed by MM and the lettering will change to that metric measurements. Software automatically calculates the value for you. If you wish to make the lettering wider, change the percent width in the object properties box, and that will make the lettering wider. If you want to make it more narrow, just change the percentage to less than 100, and that will make the lettering more narrow. Lettering spacing will change the distance that the letters are from one another, while italics will change the slant of the letters. The auto kerning that you see in the dialog box applies to true type fonts that have been coded for auto kerning. It helps space the letters without manually respacing. Not all true type fonts are coded for this. If auto kerning is grayed out for your selected true type fonts, that means it has not been coded for auto kerning.